In our midst today, we have our minister responsible for sports. It is no longer a secret that gallant soldiers, men and women, heroes and heroines of the land, left Sierra Leone for Glasgow to do exactly what Baibure did many, many years ago, what Kailondo did, and what uh, Shengbe Pierre and others did. And literally, what the Junior Tumbus and uh, the Kalons did years ago. And that is exactly what we are here for. I must say that this is the biggest ever delegation in recent times that left the country with the eight sport disciplines, eight different sport disciplines. It is also unique in the sense that this is the first time we have professional, and I must be very, very, I mean, confident in saying this, that we have professional A-class foreign-based athletes in the country. We have Kathleen Ekeb. Please step forward and let the news. Shake hands. It's our own tradition. This is the first time she's representing Sierra Leone. She made a very strong decision, Mr. Minister. She was in the USA team, even for the Olympics. Even to get her here, Mr. Henry Cole, president of the athletics in Freetown, will, will attest to it. It was forward and backward. America was claiming that she is an American athlete. She does not belong to Sierra Leone. We have to do a lot of proofs. And so we are hoping that uh, she will bring smiles to the people of Sierra Leone. Absolutely. Please step forward and the minister. She is not representing the country for the first time. She was one of those whose medals, trophies, you received in Freetown from the Burkina Faso Athletics. She made Sarah smile. We also have Issa Kamara. She's well known in sports. She's the first. You know, around them, the continent. <laughs> and this is an athlete called Oulibana. I greet you in the name of the President of Sierra Leone, His Excellency Dr. Anis Baikuruma and the entire people of Mamasalo. For us, this is a historic moment in the history of our country. For the first time, we are being represented by so many athletes. This shows the premium that His Excellency has placed on sports. When the president, in his second term, realized that he must pay special attention to the youth of this country in sports, he decided for the first time in the history of our country to solely establish a special ministry of sports because the president said he wants to liberate sport because he is a liberator. So that when the president came, he said he wants to liberate the hearts and minds of Salonians. Yes, it was very tough for us. I mean, a country that has followed the evil dogma of Fusad and Taika on a day for it, <laughs> dog eat dog, then say by law, you say the Vicinicu, came to produce the badat, the pulling down syndrome, and the attitude problem. That now is the time for us to rise up, change our attitudes so that we can tap our potential. And that is why when I became Minister of Sports, it was very, very difficult amidst all opposition. But the president said, carry on. What has happened? Suddenly, the sports evolution has begun. 
that amidst difficulties, they've done their best to make sure that they lend their support to the government. And that is why, in fact, we have eight sporting disciplines for the first time in the history of this country being represented. <laughs> Even squash. The favorite game of the president is squash. He plays squash almost every day. And let me let you into a secret. The president is the best squash player in the country. <laughs> if it was possible, he would have been here addressing you instead of me. <laughs> so it shows that when you have a focused president, when you have a president who is a liberator, and the president who cares for his people, you begin to see the changes. And that is why for the first time we have this big contingent, about 50 or so people who are here, to wear the green, white, and blue, and to show that the revolution has begun. So I want to thank you very much for loving your country, and for you to decide to participate for your country. And I also want you to realize that we can do it. We have the potential to be right up there. And you are going to start it. With all this fear, we're ready to compete and we'll look good doing it. So. <laughs>